In this lesson, you will learn about design concepts. And under design concept, we'll look at the elements and principles of design. First of all, what is design concept? Design concept is simply the original plan conceived in the mind of the artist on how a design would look like when it is completed. So before you create an artwork, the idea you put together is what we call design concept. So now let's move over to our second question, which is what are elements of design? Just as you've learned before now, elements of design are also what we call the fundamentals of design. By fundamentals, I mean the basic things the artist needs to put together to form a design. And such elements include line, shape, form, texture, color, value, and space. So now let's explain each of these elements. The first one is line. Line is simply the part of a moving point or we can say line is the distance between two points. Line is used to define other elements. Another element we'll look at is shape which is a bit similar to form. Why shape is two dimensional, form is three dimensional. Shape is simply a defined area that is flat and it is made up of edges. An example of shapes include circle, square, rectangle and so on. And an example of form include cuboid, cone, cylinder and so on. We have two types of shapes, which are the geometric shape and organic shape. The geometric shapes are shapes that are regular, they are precise. An example of a geometric shape include square, rectangle, circle, and so on. Why the organic shapes are shapes that are irregular, they are found in nature. An example of an irregular shape include the shape of leaf, the shape of the hand. The next element we'll look at is texture. Texture is simply the tactile quality of a surface. That is how a surface feels when it is visually seen or when it is touched with the hands. So next, let's discuss the principles of design. So what are principles of design? Principles of design are simply the guidelines the artist follows when making a design. So the manner with which the artist skillfully combine different elements of design is known as the principles of design. Definitely, you have all your elements. Because you have all elements you need to create an artwork, you don't just combine them anyhow. What do we do? We skillfully we follow a particular pattern. We follow a particular method. We follow different steps. And these principles include within, balance, unity, proportion, contrast, dominance. So now we're going to explain these principles. The first one is balance. Balance is a principle of design that emphasizes on stability in an artwork. That is what we have at one side 
should exactly be what we have at the other side for that particular design to be balanced. So if what we have at one side is different from what we have at the other side, such design can be termed as not being balanced. Next is proportion. Proportion is the accurate representation of objects in their original sizes. When making an artwork, especially in the case of drawing the human being, you have to be careful because if you distort your drawing, maybe the eyes does not fall where it's supposed to be, it means that such artwork is not proportional. That is, it's not well represented in its original size or shape. Another principle we'll discuss is contrast. Contrast is simply the creating of area of visual interest in an artwork. That is, the ability for you to create a different element in your artwork. Another principle of design we'll discuss is emphasis, which is also called dominance. It is the ability to create an area of interest that is a, making a particular portion of an artwork to be different from other parts so that the viewer's attention can be easily drawn to that part. And this can be achieved by making good use of color, shape, etc. We also have rhythm. Reading creates a sense of movement in an artwork. It gives it that flow. And this can be achieved by repeating different shapes, different color, different texture. Another principle of design we'll discuss is unity, also known as harmony. Unity emphasizes on oneness and togetherness in the overall assessment of an artwork. So an artwork can be united in terms of shape or even color. For example, in box A, we have unity in terms of color. And in box B, we have unity in terms of size. Another principle of design we'll discuss is variety. Variety is the using of contrasting elements within an artwork. By contrasting, I mean different colors or different shapes in an artwork. 